LeBron, uh, you said after game one, you, you were anticipating some some differences in Golden Collective, where Steph having the ball more, the way that they defended AD. What, what stood out to you? Um, they made the adjustments, and um, you know we knew they were going to do that. Um, that's what a championship team does, and uh, you know they they held serve on their home court tonight, and we got to um, obviously see the adjustments they made. We got to make our adjustments coming into Game Three. And AD, just same question for you. Uh, Draymond started on you last game. Obviously, it was Looney. Uh, they played a little different on the other end as well with the spread, uh, the spread offense. Uh, how did that impact you? Did you feel like? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I took all the same shots I took in Game One. Uh, you know, just missed them. Um, elbow jumpers, uh, pocket passes to, to the floater, same exact looks. Uh, didn't shoot no shot that I didn't shoot in Game One. Uh, just missed them. Um, that's all. Uh, like Bron said, they made adjustments. Um, shot the ball extremely well from three. Um, so uh, we'll be better. Um, I'll be better. Uh, you know, making those shots. Um, you know, get back home on our home floor, on our home floor, and uh, try to take care of business. Uh, this question's for either of you, but wh- where did you feel like the game kind of slipped away tonight? W- was it the third quarter when they, you know, made eight threes and, and dropped forty plus, or, or was it kind of right before halftime? Or, or what did you see with that? Yeah, I mean, going into half, um, you know, up eleven, you know, went on the run, and then obviously the third quarter, uh, we know they're a big third quarter team. Came out um, on fire, hit forty three in the third, um, and also forty one in the second. So. Uh, it's not like us um, on the defensive end to give up those um, type of quarters. Uh, so we got to be better uh, defensively. But um, I think, you know, going to have time, you know, when they made that run, it's kind of, you know, where it kind of, uh, you know, got away from us. LeBron, you've seen them go on crazy runs in games um, and all your battles with them. What's sort of the key to, to, to not letting those um, – build and stack and, and how do you kind of have to combat that uh, you got to keep scoring uh, get to the free throw line um, as well or just get uh, points in the paint uh, you know they're going to go on runs that's what they do um, you know but you got to keep scoring um, try to hold the four down obviously um, you know but you give uh, credit what credit is due they played exceptionally well tonight and we didn't and, uh, the series is tied 1-1 so uh, that's where we're at LeBron, you guys have been one of the best defensive team in the league over the last month plus. Uh, but the teams you played in the league, you know, the Warriors are pretty unique in the way they play uh, compared to the rest of the league, you know, with their personnel and continuity and all that. So um, what do you think it, w- it will take to make your defense shine as much as it has against this sp- specific team? Well, we still are. That doesn't change. We still won't the best defensive team in the league, if not one of them. Um, so that doesn't change, and that's what we hang our hats on. Um, but like I said, you get credit where credit is due. Clay uh, was spectacular tonight. Uh, and Draymond was great in the pocket pass with the rolls and things of that nature. Um, you know, so uh, Jermichael gave him big time minutes. Those, you know, those 12 minutes felt like, uh, you know, 24 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, he was big time for their, for their team in the starting role tonight, too. So. Um, you give credit, like I said, credit is due, and we move on to the next game. But our defense is where we, that's where we hang our hat. And, uh, you know, and that, that doesn't stop no matter who we're playing against. How did you, how do you guys feel? Obviously, neither of you played in the fourth quarter. Did you come out of this thing all right? And did you feel that you contested their three pointers enough in this game? Obviously, they're a great shooting team, but they, they made a lot of threes. We feel great, and we, we did, yes, we contested threes. AD, when they, when they go small, obviously it stretches um, the defense and, and you know gets shooters to the corners. But um, w- does that change the way they were able to defend you guys too with their movement? And, and, and even though they were smaller, were they more? Did you feel like they were more active in passing lanes and things like that? Yeah, I think they're a little bit <clears throat> more active in the uh, in the pocket. Uh, you know, they kind of clogged the paint. You know, in our pocket passes uh, that were pretty open game one and. Um, you no, know, it didn't help that we didn't really shoot the ball well from three. Um, you know, so we start, you know, making those shots, making those threes. Uh, it'd be tough for them to pull in to kind of take away those pocket passes and uh, us playing in the paint. So um, that's all I think it was. You know, they, they made an emphasis on making sure that we try to, they try to, you know, find the guys on the perimeter, um, you know, on the three-point line and clog the paint up a little bit. Thanks, Alvin. You know, for us, Robin, I think just... 
our stagnation. I felt like, you know, I still have to go back and watch the game. And, um, but my gut feeling, my instincts tell to me that my eyes saw us settle a little bit. We mishandled the ball some early. We were right there early on, neck and neck. But uh, a couple of possessions got away from us early. Um, and I just thought we made a good job of crowding the paint. Trout, uh, excuse me, crowding the paint and uh, not allowing us, trying to prevent us from playing downhill as much. And that in turn affect, you know, what affects what we do at the free throw line. So. We'll go back to the drawing, bro drawing board and look at uh, different ways we can sustain what we did well and what we've done well over these the, the course of these first two games and then look at what we can possibly do better. Of course, new series now, but you lose game two in Memphis after winning game one, you get back home. Is there a different type of a sense of your team and how do you think that you will respond and, and how, how different are these series and what these opponent challenges are? And no, I, I fully anticipate our team to respond in the right way. Darvin, uh, 80, 11 points tonight, 11 shots, uh, one free throw attempt. What, what did you make of Draymond's defense against him? And you referenced crowding the paint. They obviously, anytime he was rolling or trying to catch the ball, there was two, three guys around him at all times. You know, Dre, he's going to do his work early. And, you know, it's the reason why he's a perennial, perennial all defensive player. Um, you know, he's going to force tough catches. And when he's on the ball, he, he, he's his own ball activity second to none um, and he's a good communicator when then when if a is not trying to go at him we're going into a secondary action after getting the ball to a he's great about that whether he has to switch or talk his his guy through um, through this scenario he, he's uh, he's 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 been you know top shelf his entire career in that in, in that regard so again we just we got to go back and look at ways we can move A around, put them in different uh, spacing, different actions, and just try to diversify his attack. Darvin, you guys went the entire postseason from the playing round, first first round in uh, game one against Golden State without allowing 40 in a quarter, and you do it second and third quarter today. Where, where do you think uh, your defense uh, wasn't up to snuff tonight? I mean, I just think just being ready from uh, – from our, the ball leaving our shooter's hands, sprinting back in transition, getting matched up, communicating. Um, you know, you make one slip, you miss one assignment, and they're going to make you pay. And um, as I mentioned before, they're probably most dangerous once they give the ball up. And that's when, <laughs> that's, that's, that's when the race starts. I mean, um, those guys' ability to you know, run around on the floor and, and, and their bigs and their, their facilitators, guys, knowing where, you know, they can blindly throw a pass and that pass is going to be connecting to Clay or Steph or Jordan right in their spot. Um, and, you know, they, they have a, a lot of pride, a ton of pride. They're a championship ball club for a reason. And, uh, you know, after game one, we fully anticipated them to come out and, and, and throw some haymakers, which they did. And, you know, Clay got off. He was seeing the ball go in early and often. So, again, we got our work cut out for us. But, you know, you don't get this to this point in the season by it being easy. You have to buckle down, do your homework, look at ways, you know, the W's and L's, the wisdom and losses, lessons, and look at ways you uh, – you can get better from it and, and, and try not to make the same mistakes twice.